This video is here to show you how to use the long division method when the divisor is a two digit number. Let's have a go at dividing 322 by 14. The dividend or number we are dividing is 322. We are dividing by 14, so 14 is our divisor, and the quotient will be the answer to the calculation. When we divide by a two digit number, it's a good idea to list the first 10 multiples of our divisor first. So we have these facts to hand. Here are the first multiples of 14 up to 10 times 14. To do this, think about the times tables and maths knowledge that could help you. In this case, the seven times tables is really useful because if you double seven, you get 14. So the 14 times table is double the seven times table. These multiples of 14 will be really useful when completing our division calculation. Unlike with addition, subtraction, and multiplication, when we start with the smallest value digit, when we divide, we start with the largest value digit. In this three digit number, that is the hundreds digit. First, divide the hundreds. Three hundreds divided by 14 equals zero hundreds with three hundreds still remaining. We do not need to write a zero in our answer because we don't use leading zeros in whole numbers. We subtract the zero hundreds we have already divided from the three hundreds that we started with, which leaves us with three hundreds. These hundreds are exchanged for 30 tens and are added to the two tens from 322, giving us 32 tens. Next, divide the tens. If we look at our multiples of 14, we can see that 32 tens divided by 14 equals two tens, because two lots of 14 equals 28, and we have a remainder of four tens. We write the two in the tens column of the answer above the line. When we subtract the 28 tens we have shared equally from the 32 tens we started with, we have four tens remaining. The remaining four tens are exchanged for 40 ones and are added to the two ones from 322, giving us 42 ones. Finally, divide the ones. We can see that the 42 ones divided by 14 equals three ones because three lots of 14 equals 42. When we subtract the 42 ones we have divided from the 42 ones we had, we have no remainder. Therefore, 322 divided by 14 equals 23. Now it's your turn. Let's work through this division calculation together. The calculation is 864 divided by 16. How would we set this out as a long division calculation? Well, first of all, we need to list the multiples of 16. Pause here and write the first 10 multiples of 16. Think carefully about which times table would help you with this. Did you get the multiples of 16 up to 10 times 16? Here they are. You may have used your eight times table to help you because 16 is double eight. So the 16 times table is double the eight times table. First, divide the hundreds. Pause here and complete this step. Eight hundreds divided by 16 equals zero hundreds, remainder eight hundreds. Did you write all the digits in the correct place? Next, divide the tens. Don't forget to include the tens from the dividend. Pause here and complete this step. 86 tens divided by 16 equals five tens remainder six tens. Did you complete this step correctly? And finally, divide the ones. Pause here to complete this step. 64 ones divided by 16 equals four ones remainder zero ones. What is our answer or quotient when 864 is divided by 16? 864 divided by 16 equals 54. I hope that this video has helped you to understand how to use the long division method when the divisor is a two digit number with no remainder. If you're looking for any more videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time.